Hi, welcome back to Chainmail Bikini's inaugural look at the infamous MMO, Scarlet Blade. Uh, as you can see so far, we have two characters, uh, <laughs> neither of whom's name I could properly get, so I fudged it because this ain't an RP server, folks. For part three, let's take a look. Cyberblade. A the recent man. innovation in arc science, cyber blades are the first male arcana. They boast powerful chakra buffs and extreme mobility, making them experts in fast-paced combat. Now, as a lesbian, I could sort of see the, the appeal of playing the female characters here if there wasn't that sort of mildly distressing master-servant undertone. Uh, I know, you know, I know some lesbians who who are into that. Uh, I'm not really. So, I think it would be interesting to see what sort of uh, situation you get into with the male character. So let's give him a try. We got a similar general assortment of head designs. Now, his head is way small for his body. I would just like to point that out first. Uh, you can get a very sort of... Ooh, I might have to go with that. A very sort of cyberpunk thing going. You got kind of a, I don't know, Sephiroth hair. I guess this is more Sephiroth hair. And you get your cloud hair. And a bunch of random... Oh! Oh, he's got a pedo stash that he can go hang out with the, the sentinel class. Uh, you got Justin... Wow, that's really Justin Bieber, too. I am deeply disturbed at how much that is Justin Bieber. I think I'm gonna go with this. Go over here and give him... Yeah, that's, that's not bad. And I say this again as a lesbian. Because <laughs> I like girly guys if they have to be guys. So I think eyes are kind of irrelevant here. <laughs> oh, let's take a look at his lip options. Okay, that's... <laughs> it's got that goth thing going. It's different hairstyles again, but I kind of like the hairstyle we've got. That's, that's not bad. Go with the Bieber. <laughs> that's so Justin Bieber. It's it's terrifying. It's, why why would you have the emo comb over over eyes that are behind? I guess it's I guess it doesn't matter if you've got some sort of sensor array in front of your eyes. You can just actually because of that. I kind of like that. No no I I think I think this needs to be a white haired pretty boy. Let's look at the male's clothing options now. We can see already that. Unlike just about any of the female characters, except for, I believe it was the Shadow Blade, I don't know, the, the glowy blue and black ninja lady I played in the first part, he's actually got clothes. Uh, let's take a look at our options, though. <laughs> oh, okay, so apparently you can put him in, like, Warcraft Paladin armor. That's... Actually, I could totally talk my roommate play into playing this just by showing him that there's this ridiculous paladin-looking armor. Let's see what his underwear options are. Oh, he's got tattoos! That's kind of cute, or he can have... that. That's... I mean, it's it's underwear, but it's not lingerie. It's it's really just underwear. I think we're going to have to go with the, the tidy whities here. He's... <laughs> such a paladin. It's incredible. Uh, but I, I like this one, so I'm gonna use a name that's probably not taken. I'm going to use the uh, the name of a character in a novel I'm working on. And let's see that Ethereus... What? But I made up that name! Curse you. Curse you all. I'll just do what I did with the others. <laughs> oh yeah, he's hanging out and <laughs> I like that at this point he's wearing these swim trunks and this 
really like high tech visor thing and nothing else. That the the visor really plays up the fact that uh that he's not <laughs> it's uh well he's he's got a sculpted package, which is more than I can say for most MMO characters. Let's Is continue. it time to hunt again? Alright, let's... Oh my god! Buy things! Stop. It's been... I mean, admittedly, I haven't gotten past, like, level two and a half, but it's been pretty not obnoxious. It still calls him Little Miss Lovely. Wow. I, I can't... As, <laughs> as a big fan of androgyny and assorted other gender questionable things. I am way too amused by that. Tatas for now. Let's see. And pretty much says same things. <laughs> Poor Ethers. I do these things to him. Greetings. I am a sub AI for mother who helps manage the ARC project. Yep, you sure are. Actually, she did have a different dialogue for the other faction, so that's something, at least. Yep, I'm gonna skip through these. Well, okay. <laughs> Again, the Arcana are biologically inclined to notice your qualities as commander, even the males. Da da, embrace a symbiotic relationship. Da da da, sexy times. Interface with your new field agent. Alright, that was, uh, that was exciting. Next quest. Ha! I'm gonna press the skip button. There. There weren't really any consequences. I do see that while he doesn't have any sort of high heels, he does have, like, swim shoes or something on. So, uh, I guess at least he's wearing shoes. And I suppose it's... The thing that's always complained about, and, uh, my friend David Willis does a webcomic called Short Pact, and he had a whole strip that he did that gets around a lot about the whole issue of uh, false equivalency, basically saying that just because men in fictional works are designed to look like male power fantasies, that doesn't mean that that's somehow equal to making all the women also look like male fantasies. I would say in this case, I mean, this is... <laughs> Again, I'm not actually genuinely attracted to masculinity in general, but I would say this... This definitely looks like a male who is designed to be attracted to women and or gay men who are just into the sort of men who are attractive to women. By which I mean gay men who just aren't really into bears. So so I, I kind of like that about it. I mean, obviously this is a male character who is supposed to be sexually appealing genuinely sexually appealing rather than just being a male fantasy. Happy to meet you, Arcana. I'm so Vera. Let's move on. Oh, she's gonna send you top slide armed with nothing but those dimples and on a on a guy that's uh yeah. <laughs> Your looks alone won't save you, pretty boy. Yep, stroke and love your weapon. Alright, finish that up. Hey! I don't have pants, but I have a sword. I mean, I, I guess that's what's important. So, we're gonna beat up the training dummies, except yada yada. Where's our training dummies? They are back. I love that he's wearing no clothes except for... Wearing no clothes except for like an arm gauntlet thing and these ridiculous elaborate facial things. Beat up this guy. This is unsurprisingly a melee class. Oh, and that's dead. Let's go over here and see what free looks like. 
Not bad. Again, not not bad at all. Oh, let's see. What's is he wearing? Like little? Yeah, he's wearing like some sort of little future swim. Oh, okay, there, Mister. Get your pants back on. He's, he's wearing shoes. Happy to meet you, Arcana. I'm Vera. Yep, I know. We met. All right, and finish, and we have gloves now. So we get another incoming quest. Skip that again, and let's go talk to Laura. So yeah, I, I would say in in general, I mean, not that I am the best judge, but I would say that this this uh passes an equivalency test. I think the male characters are definitely just as much objects as the female characters are. Uh, I guess considering they don't seem to have actually bothered to change any quest text, it's not a big surprise. Nice to meet you. Let's, Name's Laura. Let's see I handle transfers on the surface. Actually, let's see if... Yeah. Yep. See? Disrupted communication signal. We believe it. We believe it is being pirated by the royal guards. So let's see if their top side looks nice to meet you. Any Name's Laura. I handle transfers on the surface. Yep. Let's see if theirs looks any different than the royal guards one. Again, though, I have the little skull over my head. Maybe that's a PvP marker. I. I don't know. I get the impression that PvP. Actually, I've I've noticed there are a few people playing the male character here, and that's that's nice. Again, that could just be because people want to cyber with at least one male character. That's, that's boring. <gasps> Oh, think of it as marriage without the commitment, and you're actually attracted to your partner. Oh, so clever! Alright, yep. I'm all very excited. <laughs> so, uh, what are we actually at yeah, this? This looks pretty much exactly like what we did before for the other faction. So that's... that's kind of disappointing. But I suppose we can only do so much of this game considering their attention is clearly elsewhere. But still, I'd like to judge these things as games as well as... or... beefcake. I don't know, he's... Look at him, he's kind of cheesecake. Alright. Come on, Commander! Think of something for your pretty boy. Ooh, nice. It is a very nice little level up animation you get. Nothing worse than those Twilighters, man. Since the collapse of the world, it has always been so. All right, let's find Twilight Needles. Again, I'm not really playing on a total top of the line gaming rig here. I'm playing on a year and a half old Acer laptop. I'm pretty fond of it. It is one that has dedicated graphics, but it shoots through the battery when using them, and it burns like a minute fun. But still, it's more than enough for your average free play at most. Let's, let's let's get some shoes first. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's right, ladies and gentlemen. A cute new outfit would go a long way. I'm screenshotting that. Yay! Now we once again have shoes that we can't use yet. Alright. Let's go talk to these vines. Come on, we're all looking at his butt. So again, you can see the fallen buildings with the vines. I mean, I know this isn't exactly indicative of endgame content, but while this is a fun game, I don't know that no, I I could play the male character through to some endgame content just for irony's sake. Again, it's not top of the line graphics hardware I'm running this on, but it is you know, that the game runs capably. Uh, running the video capture software of course puts a little bit of a dent in my actual power of the computer to process these things. Dude, dude, okay, come on, come on. Where's your quest dude? Where's your quest dude? There we go. Oh right, we're we're talking to uh let's group the flower. <laughs> a flashback to what? moment to appreciate this, this fine poetry that this flower is telling us that suddenly delves into extremely incompetent innuendo. Moving on. And what is up next? I agree. That was strange. Again with the butts. Alright, let's see where these Oh, we're running a little bit I guess it's not too much running back and forth. It is worth noting that the mobs we're attacking are not actually I am oh. uh, sort of curious at what point you get actually attacking hostiles, but to be fair. We are only level two and two thirds. Let's go to our quest target here. Yep. Considerable disrepair. No, not an unauthorized network. <laughs> Why do you call me character? Why do you call me? Oh, hey, look, it's Guy. Oh, maybe this is like a class trainer. Yeah, I do through the first chapter of your life as a man. <laughs> I don't care who you are. Okay, we're securing more stardust than our enemies. Well, you have to kill royal guards. Like I said, there's some PvP going. Oh, check the cyber page. Okay. But I still don't have pants. Some people, <laughs> version one over here. There's a male character. 
Though I, I'm really gonna credit that more with people wanting to have male avatars for their cyber sex rather than gay men and straight women playing this. Oh no! I can see. <gasps> From the spy! Oh, hello there. <laughs> Cherry! <laughs> Her name is Cherry. But score boundaries stole my mobile communicator. not my avatar, but a thing that I control is going to <laughs> disobey my orders. <laughs> Could he at least do it, like, by himself and let me play another character? Let's, let's go to this K thing and look at our skill tree. So... What have we got? We've got two points. Well, hey, look, we've got a skill tree. Basic class, not special voltage. B buff? Oh, right. Buff and debuff. Chronic and particle. But that that we only have one of. That's basic attack. Um, slash. X slash. Uh, which we have 20 levels of. Piercing. Which we have 14. And it goes all the way up to skull crack with your blade. I mean, I, I guess you can do that. Shockwave level one. Here you go. Now you can get a look at the actual gameplay part of the game. Some buffs and debuffs. Armor breaker. So... <laughs> Still metabolism. Huh. Alright. You no, know, it's fairly basic sword melee warrior -y sort of things, except you get to be a man. Alright, let's put some points and some things, I guess, because because we've got some what else can I put points in? I don't seem to actually... I have two points, but I don't seem to be able to put them in anything else yet. So that's exciting. I'm gonna close that, because it's dumb. Oh, <laughs> you're not one of those brainless skits. Are we getting... I suppose the uh, voiceovers do have kind of a British accent going, so fair enough. Okay, we're level three now. The auto run is kinda nice. I imagine it will get much less nice at some point when I don't know, maybe there never are hostile mobs. I would assume there would eventually be some, but I, I could be wrong. Let's take a look at our bag. Let's put on some shoes. Yep. Look at that. Wearing shoes. That's the X attack. It looks like it 
should be an AoE, but it doesn't seem to be hitting anything else, so... <laughs> got a fancy look to it. See, that, that looks like it's supposed to be a cleave, but it doesn't seem to actually be a cleave. I have to say, on the plus side, it looks like this is going to be pretty easy my assorted hand issues. So that's that's something. If I didn't, I didn't mind feeling like a pervert all the time. Oh no, it's interfacing with his deployment kit without permission! Good job. Apparently not gay enough not to be fooled by a nice set of tits. Well, I guess we're stranded. So, stranded and pantsless, I'm gonna call it an episode. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, if you'd like to make any suggestions, you can always hit me up on Twitter or anywhere else where I might actually be paying attention. And have a good night.